All right. Hello, gamers. And hello, starfighters. Today, we'll be checking out the Danger Zone update. I'm sorry for the late upload. It's simply because we did get a new graphics card, and the power supply was not capable of it, so it went in for maintenance. We took another one, and now it is working again, and the videos should go back to normal schedule for the rest of the summer. Anyway, let's check it out. Starting with the American Army, we have the Free Abrams. Honestly, I don't think they should call it Danger Zone, they should call it Dangerous Cash Grab. Because <laughs> they added so many new top tier premiums in this update. It's crazy. Let's test drive it. It's got a slight. Let's just look at it first. Uh, it does get a main round that is slightly worse than the uh, M1A2. If you look at it, slightly. There's 629 millimeters top versus 583. There's not that much of a difference. Not gonna change your game, but it has much more armor. Uh, hull armor 133, 62, 31 versus 133, 62, 31. Like what? Come on. Okay. It t one of the videos that I was watching told me it had better armor. I don't know. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Okay, let's, let's test drive it. <coughs> also, I've been getting a lot of FPS lately, which is good. Not good badly. Like average. Helicopter, we have nothing new. In aviation, well, if you watch this trailer, you know exactly. Anyone who's coming back to this game after like three years will not recognize this game. Especially with this. This, my friends, is called an F 14 and it is the best aircraft in the world. Change my mind. Look at this. Okay, that's a little bit sensitive. Unfortunately, they don't even let you test fly it, which is annoying, because everyone wants to test fly an F-14. I mean, it's an F-14, come on, who wouldn't? Yeah, it's, it's an F-14. Embrace a uh, Phoenix Supremacy. You know, just, uh, I, I don't know why Gaijin, okay, I can understand why Gaijin nerfed it, so that the lock range is only 16 clicks. But it's still sad just seeing the figures that the launch range is 150 clicks. It's just so annoying. Anywho, an American blue water, we don't have anything new. But in coastal, uh, we got the USS Douglas, which is the first, I believe, uh, premium ship or boat. Those naval enthusiasts out there will probably be yelling at me. Gunners oh. are searching for surface targets. It's got missiles. Two surfaced air missiles. Let's just lock up. Alright, there we go. Maybe I might get them before. Oh, come on. Okay. Okay. Yeah. 
SS Douglas. In the air. Spot six. This is 76. Yeah, 76 millimeter. I put HEV2. Just for that. You can also even the missiles are like the missions actually. They're not that I wouldn't recommend using them since you only have two. But they will not disappoint. Thank you for crashing straight into the water. Also, uh the damage model is actually I like this one. Germany, I'm not aware of any change except the US SMS Baron with 383 millimeter guns or something like that. Right? Yeah, 380. And it's crazy because it has like, oh, I'll make four of them 16 150 millimeters and 288s. That's it. Um, <clears throat> aviation. Nothing new in my, to, uh, my knowledge. Helicopters, nothing new. Army, doesn't look like we got anything new. For the USSR, uh, I don't see anything new either. Right? Um, it's a maybe wrong slot, or whatever, however you call it. Britain, we've got the HMS Hood, 381 millimeter guns, just beating the Bayern just for that extra amount. We got the Lightning, F-53, I can't tell what nation this is, guys, what nation it shows in the stat card. Can someone please tell me in the comments? Really would appreciate it. <coughs> it's an export Lightning. And it's got red tops. What's really exciting though is this logo. I'll show you just why. It's it's a little bit more OP. It's got a lot of stuff in general. We also have a new UI. Very exciting. More exciting is, is this. Like, I have a problem with this show you once we're in the air so you can see without this That's the most this crash I've ever done.
Okay, so anyway, let's see what it looks like. Here, three, two, one, fire. Disappointment. What is the hole? Okay, wait, let's... Can't see all the way. I can't even see it, but it's about we also got something more for the British. So in the army, they got a Challenger Desert Storm. It's actually, I hate their shots. This shot is kind of bad. Helicopters? No, no. For Japan? I'm not sure if they got anything, really. Helis, nothing. Aviation? Nothing. Blue water? Nothing. Coastal? Yeah, nothing. China is a different story. So, you may notice we have an extra tab. It's the Z19E. It's very, very pleasing. Need a good loadout. Where's the good one? I think this is it. Can't use the Type 57 anywhere else. That's annoying. Anyway, it's like a Z9. It's a helicopter paracopter. It's gonna be confusing to some. Uh, Italy. Ah, yes, the R E I T. Ariete. It's, it's 
not the Ariete tank of Italy. It's the uh, what's the what's the name of it again? I forgot. Uh, I'm trying to remember. What's the name of that one Italian jet that was OP? It's Sa Sagittario. Yeah, it's Sagittario 2. This is an upgraded version that has a better engine. Yeah. It's, it's also just copy paste premium. It's got, you know, the uh, early Aiden. It's like Aiden. It's just like fake Adidas. It's I'm realistic, by the way. I already took off by the touchdown. Pretty crazy. It's very fast once you get it. Done. Look at this speed counter, bro. Absolutely mental. Look at that. Our engine's not even that hard. Low merchant ships. something in the army I'm not sure um I think they'll be taking this away something like that's what they said but I don't think there's anything new for navy yeah or France I don't think we have anything new either nothing in helis oh yeah we have the f1c just like a strike variant of the mirage f1 for Sweden, I don't think we have anything new. Um, yeah. Israel, well, nothing new. Except their heli tree. Aviation, yeah. Alright, well. Uh, that's pretty much it for the update, guys. Yeah, um. I'm gonna make another video soon. As I said in the beginning, you know, my schedule will be back to normal for the rest of the summer. And, uh, see you guys in the next one. And peace.